Hello students and welcome back to the next video of class 6th. In this video, I will discuss the remaining topics of chapter 4. Hope you have watched the previous videos very carefully and understood the topics mentioned in that. And also you have done the question answer and exercises which I have given to you. If you have not done till now, so please do it in fair copy. Now let's start with the first topic of this video. In this video, we will discuss about the components of desktop screen of Windows 7. Now let's start with the, with three buttons which is placed at the title bar of any window. These three buttons are minimized, maximize and close button. The button with a small horizontal line is called the minimize button. If you click on the minimize button, it will reduce the window to a bottom means at the taskbar in the form of button. The name of the application will be displayed on that button. To bring the window back to its original size, click on the same button on the taskbar. Now the next one is maximize button. This button has a square on it. Clicking on the maximize button en enlarges the window to its possible maximum size. When we maximize the window, the maximize, bu uh, maximize button is replaced by the restored down button. This button with two squares is located on the right side of the bar on a maximize window. It returns a maximize window uh, to its previous size, which is smaller. When you restore a maximize window, the restore down button is replaced by again maximize button. Now the next one is close button. The button with a cross symbol is called a close button. Clicking on the close button will close the application. There is one more shortcut key that is Alt plus F4 which is used to close any window. And for maximizing the size of a window, just double click on the title bar and the window will be maximized automatically. Now let's move to the next topic that is icons. A small graphic symbols displayed on the desktop are called icons. Windows uses many objects that have specific functions such as files, programs, computer, folder, network neighborhood, network shortcut and recycle bin. Icons plays a very important role in graphical user interface. For opening the desired icon, we simply have to double click on it and that icon will be open. Let's discuss some of the icons of Windows 7. Recycle Bin It works like a trash bin in which you throw the waste papers. It is a folder that holds the deleted objects. You can always retrieve the deleted files until you have emptied the recycle bin. Means if you empty the recycle bin, you will not get the deleted items from the recycle bin. The process of getting back uh, the items from the recycle bin is known as restoring the item. For this purpose, just uh, just double click on recycle bin option and then go to select to uh, select that particular item which you want to recycle uh, restore. After selecting that item, just double click on it and you'll get uh, you'll get a restore this or uh, this item option. Once you click on that option, that item will be disappeared from the recycle bin and automatically move to the previous location where it was. The shortcut for deleting any item permanently is shift, shift plus delete button. Means when, we, uh, when you select any item and press shift plus delete button then that item will not go to the recycle bin and will be automatically deleted permanently. Now the next icon is my computer icon or in the higher version of windows it is this computer icon. You will get the complete information regarding the system drives and the other peripherals which are connected to the computer. It shows the information in generally three section. The first section is hard disk drives in which you will see the partition all the partitions of your hard disk drive. 
like C, D, E, F, and so on. The other section contains the device devices with removable disc like pen drives and DVD writers. And in the last section, you will see the network devices. The shortcut key of opening the window uh, Windows Explorer is Window key plus E. By opening the Windows Explorer or any drive from the My Computer, then we uh, we can perform some of the common operations like creating new folder, copying or moving or renaming or deleting the files and folder from the window. The next topic is taskbar. Taskbar is a long horizontal bar at the bottom of the desktop. It has a start button on the extreme left side. The middle section of the bar, uh, of this bar shows button with a label for each of the opened application and allows us to quickly switch between them. You can activate the application window by clicking on its tight, uh, taskbar button. When an application is active, its button is highlighted in a lighter shade. As you can see in figure 4.5. Now let's move to the components of taskbar that is the start button. The start button is probably the most frequently used component of the window desktop. When you click on the start button, a menu displaying the major applications appears. These headings provide access to the main programs of your computer. You can start programs, open documents, customize your settings, get help and search for items on your computer through the start button. Now let's discuss the second component of taskbar that is middle section. It is also known as quick launch bar which is present on the right side of the start button on the taskbar. The icons displayed on this bar help in quickly accessing the programs as well as the applications. Like in this figure you can see Internet Explorer, Windows Explorer, uh, Window Media Player, Google Chrome and many more options are available which allows us to directly click on it for opening these applications. The shortcut key for opening the start button is window key which is present on the keyboard. Now the last component of this taskbar is notification area. The right side of the taskbar is known as notification area which includes a clock and a group of icons that provides status and notifications about things like updates, network connectivity, incoming mail, battery, volume and many more. That's all for this video. In the next video, I will discuss the remaining topics of this chapter.